The bar exam is tough. You spend two months studying, two days testing, and then you wait another two months to find out if your three years in law school was even worth it. I'm a lawyer Brit, and to make sure you only have to go through this painstaking process once or once more, here are my five steps for crushing the bar exam. Stay tuned until the end because step five is the most important and hands down definitely helped me pass the bar the very first time. Number one, eliminate daily decisions. The bar exam is a mental game. It's exhausting mentally and physically, and you're spending so much time and brain power studying that it's difficult to spend energy on other things, even small things like figuring out what you'll eat or figuring out what you'll wear. One of my law school professors told us that she decided during her bar prep every day for breakfast and lunch, she would eat oatmeal. Now this might sound weird, but how many times have you been working or studying and then suddenly realize I'm starving, I need to eat right now. Then you have to take time away from working or studying to figure out what you're gonna eat. If you know you're going downstairs to make oatmeal, you can keep your focus fully on studying. Same thing with clothes or going to the gym. Get a solid routine so that every day I'm wearing leggings. Tuesdays and Thursdays at three, I go to the gym. That way you're not stopping to say, should I work out? When am I gonna do that today? Eliminating the need to constantly make small decisions will keep your focus on studying, which is where it should be. Number two, create well-organized outlines. No matter what bar prep program you use, Barbary, Kaplan, don't use their outlines as your studying outlines. Those outlines are long, overly complicated, and not easy to review at all. The point of an outline is to help you understand and remember information so you can apply it on the actual exam. Your outline should be well organized in sections and pages that make sense to you. So take a step back and look at the big picture. What concepts and topics fit together? Make it flow, make it build. If you're having trouble creating your own outlines, my bar prep outlines that I created, like spent hours and hours and blood, sweat and tears on, are actually available online. We'll link those in the description below. Three, make one pagers. So after you create your studying outlines and you've run through them many, many, many times, you're going to create what I call the one pager. This is just literally a one page outline you create with only the most essential and important rules. The crux of the bar exam is pulling issues out of a set of facts and applying the correct rule to reason an outcome. If you know the rules, you can spot the issue. That's the most important part. For every single subject, I created a one page quick outline. I also created state specific outlines for each subject. It takes so much time to run through a 10 or a 20 page outline. And as you take more practice exams and do more practice questions, you don't have the time to do that. I also wouldn't recommend putting more than one subject in a single outline as you might confuse the applicability of the rules. But one pagers are life savers. And I also included mine in my bar prep outlines, which again are linked below. Number four, use the name game method. Once you create your one pagers after you've done your outlines, you're going to use the name game method to solidify that information in your mind. If you don't know, the name game is like when a group of people try to remember everyone's names. Someone starts, my name is Britt. The next person says Britt and Kathy. The next person after that says Britt, Kathy, and David. And so it progresses around the whole room until the last person has to remember every single person's name. When I was studying for the bar, I would walk around my room or my neighborhood and I would run through my one page outline exactly like this. I'd start with the first rule and I'd say it out loud. Then I'd look at my outline for the second rule and I'd say out loud the first rule and then the second rule. And then I'd say out loud the first, second and third rule. I would continue this process until I could recite the entire page of rules one after the other without looking at the outline. The combination of stacking rules and speaking them out loud to myself really helped me solidify the information and made me a much better issue spotter in the actual exam. Step five, take as many practice exams as possible. My last final and best tip and step, hands down, is to take as many practice exams as you possibly can. I cannot stress this enough. And not just the ones that Barbary gives you, do the real exams. Past bar exams are available on bar websites. I did every single available exam going back to like 2005 or 2006. I did these timed and without outlines and without notes. Don't get used to using a crutch of notes or extra time, you'll get used to it. Train your mind to perform under the exam conditions. So go through your one pager, then time yourself for a practice exam. Obviously I didn't do a whole two day practice exam each time, but I would give myself the appropriate time for one essay or a section of multiple choice. Then I would review the answers. This is the key. If you don't review your mistakes, you're never gonna improve. Here's a bonus step. Whatever issue I failed to spot or I misapplied on a practice exam, I put it on a flashcard. And I reviewed those flashcards three times a day. 
and I didn't remove a flashcard from that deck until I knew the rule by heart and I was able to spot it in a practice exam. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for part two of this bar prep series coming very soon. Remember to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when that happens.